What's up guys? It's Kristen from Anime Collective. I hope you guys had a good week and you guys are staying well. So this week I'm going to be reviewing the first omnibus of a mama for you guys and it's called The Breaker. So honestly this one flew under my radar for quite some time and I discovered it in all places in the Figurama Collectors Hub. Um, and that's what I really love about collecting. I'll hear someone talking about a series within a group or I'll see a statue of it and it really gets me into that new series. So I'll do another review for you guys when I fully complete the entire series and I get all of the omnibuses that are releasing. I think there's going to be five of those. Um, so once I get those all in, I'll do another review um, and have a video of that coming to the channel. Um, also stay tuned for next week because I have an out of print manga guide coming to the channel as well. Anywho, here are my thoughts on the story so far and I'll also give you guys a look inside the first omnibus. So first off, The Breaker is a manhwa and for those of you who aren't familiar, manhwa are comics that are released in South Korea. A lot of these series are gaining immense popularity as of late, with some even receiving anime adaptations like Tower of God, The God of High School, and Noblesse, and others receiving print publications such as Solo Leveling, Jack the Ripper Hellblade, and of course The Breaker. And there's also one called The Hellbound, with story by director of one of my favorite horror movies, Train to Busan, and art by creator of Songot coming in November, so keep an eye out for that as well. The English translated volumes of The Breaker, which are licensed by Ablaze Manga, are omnibuses. The first has 400 pages of content, and it collects 15 chapters in the manhwa. They are two-in-one omnibuses, so it is expected that there will be a total of five omnibuses. One thing that's unique about manhwa is that it is typically drawn in full color, like solo leveling. Some, like The Breaker, though, are not in full color. It does have a couple of nice color pages in the very beginning, but the rest of it is in black and white. Also, the pages look great and are in this crisp white color, and while the pages are thinner, the print quality is top-notch. The panels just look striking, and the contrast is really nice, so the artwork looks even more incredible in this omnibus. In terms of what the breaker is about, the story follows Chan Wu, a martial arts master who's in hiding because an underground martial arts society called the Martial Arts Clan Union is after him. So he takes over as a substitute teacher, and Si Woon, a high school student who is bullied and will do anything to become stronger. These two cross paths and one thing leads to another and Chun Wu ends up training Si Woon. So this is partially about their relationship, but there are other elements at play here as well since this involves an underground organization. I really love these two main characters. Chun Wu provides a lot of humor, he's always messing around and acting a fool, and he makes me laugh a lot, especially in his interactions with his coworker Miss Bay. But when it's time for him to get serious, you don't want to mess with him and he'll F you up. He has this duality to his personality that is really intriguing, and Si Woon is also really likable. He never gives up and doesn't take no for an answer. He may not be physically strong, but his will is. I have a feeling that he is going to develop amazingly as a character in the omnibuses to come, and I'm interested to see him grow as a character. You are also introduced to some of the members of the various clans as it gets more into the thick of things, so you'll meet more interesting characters along the way as well. The characters of The Breaker are strong and have me hooked so far, but I also really enjoy the dialogue and the fights in the series. The fights are easy to follow, extremely well drawn, and are exciting, mostly because of the techniques that are used throughout, but also because of the banter that occurs back and forth between the characters. The Breaker is humorous, and I found myself laughing more times than I can count, but it gets serious as well, so it's a really well balanced series. There's a ton of action that occurs in the first omnibus, but there's a lot of great buildup as well that allows us to really grow connected to the characters, plus I really enjoyed the art and its style. As mentioned earlier, is it expected that there will be a total of five omnibuses since these are two-in-ones, but there's also a sequel titled The Breaker New Waves, which is currently on an indefinite hiatus, but hopefully that is published physically in the future someday as well. As to whether or not I recommend The Breaker, I definitely do after reading the first omnibus, especially if you are a fan of stories that involve martial arts, but it also had some elements that felt very reminiscent of series like GTO. I've only read the first volume, but I'm already getting similar vibes. Also, if you're a fan of Seinen series, this one will be right up your alley. I also want to quickly note that I know I'm into a series when I'm already wishing for an anime adaptation in the first few chapters. This series needs an anime, and I can already see why everyone says this one is so underrated. I'm sure that feeling is only going to grow as I read more. Anywho, I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on this one when I'm fully done reading the series, but it's one of my favorite new releases that's arrived this year along with titles like Fist of the North Star and Die Dark, and it's definitely worth checking out. Also, the first volume left me with a huge cliffhanger, so I can't wait for the second volume to release. But there you have it, guys. There's my thoughts on The Breaker Volume 1. If you picked it up, let me know what you guys thought below. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching and be well.